of this proposed budget, but teachers and staff we spoke with tonight say they are still very upset and they spoke out on a number of issues they say the district still needs to address. The clock is ticking. Take care of them so they can take care of the kids. The new school year starts on August 31st. I don't hear the district taking any responsibility. The same day, the Marysville School District must submit a proposal to address a massive budget deficit. So at first we were told 18 million, 28 million, and now I heard um, in the parking lot somebody said they're going to cut more classified staff. Christy Toutfest is president of the union representing paraeducators and other district workers. With school starting next Next week, she says the district hasn't even told her how many staff members have been hired. They're not honoring our CBA and they're not Hello. treating us with respect. Toutfest was among the hundred teachers, staff, and supporters who filled the Marysville School District boardroom. And we will not allow financial mismanagement by the district administration. Marysville deserves better. The crowd calling for more clarity for the upcoming school year and on the newly proposed budget revealed at Monday night's meeting. The projected number of classified FTE is still quite a bit higher than the actual FTE for the school year. If we are trying to rein in the budget, why are we projecting to spend 10.7 million in additional expenditures more than last year, including the budget extension? Becky Roberts is the president of the Marysville Education Association. She questioned the board on spending, citing several examples among them. The board of directors revised the superintendent's contract, adding a cost of living raise and extra extra holiday and a $300 monthly increase to in-district travel, among other things. The Marysville School District says it's taken a number of steps this summer to help with the budget shortfall. We've reduced non-employee costs over the last couple of months by 10%. We've put controls on purchase orders. We have all but eliminated purchase cards. But even with this proposed budget, union members say more needs to be done. We cannot put our students at risk of not getting their most crucial needs met. We will not be mistreated in the workplace and have our CBAs and our union rights compromised. We'll post this proposed budget on our website, but we did speak with a district spokesperson who says the situation is still fluid and that these numbers presented tonight could change by next week. That's when the special session is going to be. That's Monday, August 28th, and that's when the proposed budget is expected to be adopted. For now, Marysville, Neil Wong, Fox 13 News.